Hello everyone and welcome to the Pluto and the Leo Fresnel product walkthrough. As you might have realized already, they come in two sizes. Here we have the Pluto Fresnel, which is a 80 watt LED equal to a 300 watt tungsten, around about four and a half kilograms. Here we have the Leo Fresnel, which is a 250 watt LED equal to a 1K tungsten, round about 14 and a half kilograms. Both the Pluto and the Leo Fresnel comes with our famous Titan LED engine, so the same great colors as you know from the other lights. A RGB, mint and amber LED chip, the CCT range goes all the way down to 1750 Kelvin up to 20,000 Kelvin. CRI TLCI is 96 or above and depending here on the color space you have the option for RGB, HSI, X and Y and also filter gels is accessible from the display on the lights in the Astera app or when working with the lights on DMX. Now both of these lights have a built-in battery. So the Pluto Fresnel fully charged running on maximum brightness runs for three hours and for the Leo Fresnel fully charged running on maximum brightness runs for two hours. We can always adjust the run time here on the display or in the app just as you are used to up to 20 hours. Now having built-in battery in these two lights makes them extremely versatile. We do not need to care about cables etc and for instance the small Pluto Fresnel can easily be mounted on a C-stand with a reflector on top. It can also be freely st standed around with its foldable legs so wherever you need it high flexibility with built-in battery and the same goes for the Leo Fresnel. In some cases it might be necessary to extend the runtime. So with our runtime extenders, which also fits onto the yokes, we can extend the runtime, hot swap, etc. But we will come more into that a bit later. Now let's talk a little bit about optics and modifiers. These two can be zoomed and this goes from 60 degrees and down to 15 degrees. We also have the barn doors as you see right here and we can easily slide out the Fresnel lens to use both as open face. Both the Pluto Fresnel and the Leo Fresnel does have zoom which goes from 60 degrees and down to 15 degrees. There's a little knob here on the side that we can zoom it down to 15 or the degree that you wish for. There's a mechanism here in the zoom for both lights. Whenever we tilt it down or upwards, it will stay in the same position what you have set it to. And no matter whether you are using 60 degrees or something in between or 15 degrees, you will have a nice and even beam with this Fresnel lens. Both of the lights includes a barn door. So you have full control over your beam and also provides you with nice clean cuts. The barn doors for both Fresnels is an eight leaf barn door that gives you the extra control when you do shape the beam. In some cases you might want to have a smaller light source and an extreme wide beam angle. Therefore there's a little mechanism we can simply just lift it up and take off the things to work with it as open face. Easy to take out and easy to put back in again. In some situations it may be required to be as silent as possible on set. By default the fans here are extremely quiet but we actually made it possible to control the fans whether you want to have them in auto so they do everything automatically. You can set it to slow, medium, fast or turn it off completely. The fan can be controlled with the display on the back side of the lights where you can choose between the settings here. You can also do it via the Astera app. Just to show you guys how this is done in the app. First of all, we need to pair the lights to our Astera app. Once we have them here in the app, we press the light we want to change the fan off. And this brings us to the lights settings. Then we can scroll down and fan mode currently by default as mentioned is in auto press here and then we can choose to turn it off, auto, slow, medium or fast. So this is how it's done via the Astera app. 
There will also be DOP choice accessories available. This will only be for the Leo Fresnel. This is done with the already existing Rapid Rounder, which fits with the Octa 3, for instance, Snapback Small, Lantern Medium, the 50 centimeter. There are also other things that fits with the Rapid Rounder. Everything goes nice and easy into the light. Simply just slide it out and put in the Rapid Rounder with a DOP choice accessory. Now, just to emphasize this again, this is only for the Leo Fresnel, the big Fresnel. Projection lenses will also be available for both the Pluto Fresnel and also the Leo Fresnel. This will be available at the end of 2023. In this case, it will be easy to turn your Fresnel lights into a profile. The projection lens will have a zoom from 16 degrees up to 36 degrees and you will also be able to adjust the focus. Both of the projection lenses will have the option for Gobos and for the Pluto Fresnel it will be Gobo size E and for the Leo Fresnel it will be Gobo size B. The projection lens also have four knives so you can cut it nice and smooth to what shape you would like to have it. Now digging a little bit into mounting. Both of the lights have a multifunctional yoke. For both of the lights with the yoke we made a mechanism we call quick release. That means if you have them here on the stand, the low boy or mounted on a C-stand, you maybe want to be flexible, take it out of the yoke, place it somewhere else. Simply just unscrew the yoke, click the two buttons and then we can take it out of the yoke just for convenience and the highest efficiency when you want to place them somewhere else. Both lights here do have airline tracks on all four sides and there are many accessories such as a handle, also the yokes, so you can mount everything just the way you want to. Now the yoke basis is something that we can release, we can take it off completely from the whole light, very easy and fast here combined with the airline tracks. We can also use it as easy balance adjustment, so we can loosen it up and we can push it back and forth, can be you have something heavy in front of the light then a balance is needed but the yoke base makes it extremely flexible. A little add-on to the Pluto Fresnel's yoke with foldable legs just as you know from the AX5 and the AX9. We can easily just fold them in here and simply just do it like this or we can fold them out, place it on the floor also having a very versatile light with foldable legs so you can use it wherever you want to. Included whether it's a single unit or the kits that are available, a TMVP adapter will be included for you to mount on a low boy or on a C-stand. Now we all know that it's easy to lose this T-bolt when we for instance mount it on a low boy like I did right here. So both of the yokes, both for the Pluto and the Leo, do have a thread where you can actually screw in the T-bolt and never lose that again whenever working with these two Fresnel lights. Both of the lights have four airline tracks on all four sides. We made a track handle which is easy to carry around for instance for the Pluto Fresnel here and also a handle for the Leo Fresnel. This is all done with the airline track so it's easy to take out but also extremely easy to click back in again. Now both of these lights do have a built-in battery, but in some cases it might be necessary to have them run longer on a battery. Therefore we can attach the runtime extenders to the yoke here, for instance one on the Pluto Fresnel and two on the Leo Fresnel. This of course makes it extremely easy to hot swap batteries whenever needed and you want them to run longer time on battery. When we for instance start with the Pluto Fresnel, we use one runtime extender with a little DC cable one and a half meter long. Here you can use either 14.4 volt battery or a 26 volt battery. This goes for both V mount and gold mount. When it comes to the Leo Fresnel we can attach two runtime extenders which both are 14.4 volt and then we can simply also just hot swap whenever needed. We can also use one runtime extender then if you do use a 14.4 volt the output will be reduced but if you then do use a 26 volt 
battery, one runtime extender with the Leo Fresnel, then you are up to full speed, same output as usual. Attaching the runtime extenders and the Leo Fresnel is done with a Y cable and with a battery input, a three pin XLR, which is on the back of the Leo Fresnel. We have implemented a function into the Leo Fresnel with battery priority. You can choose whether to drain only the external battery, only the internal one, or first internal battery or first the external battery. Again, this can be set by display or via the Astera app. Now the control options is the same as you are used to with all the other Astera lights. We can of course pair these two lights with the Astera apps, create groups and also create effects. They both have a CRMX chip built in, so CRMX wireless DMX. We can also use them both with wired DMX and of course with the backside display, which you know from the Hydra panel, also with the touch slider if you want to adjust the brightness and also the CCT. Hardwiring the Pluto Fresnel can be done with the data link together with Hyperion power supplies. So on the data link we need four individual Hyperion power supplies and then we can also power up four Pluto Fresnels. This can be done with the power and data combination cables from the data link to the Pluto Fresnel and these comes in five different lengths, a 200 millimeter, one and a half meter, five, 10 and 15 meter length. For the Leo Fresnel here has five pin XLR on the back side, both in and out. Then you can also hook it up to your lighting desk. When it comes to IP rating, both lights are IP55. That means that you can safely use them outdoor when raining. That goes both for when running off battery, but also when running hardwired. Now there are case solutions for both of these lights, a Pluto Fresnel kit and also a Leo Fresnel kit. There will also be single units available. This is just for your reference what the Pluto Fresnel kit comes with. Two Pluto Fresnels, two Fresnel lenses, barn door, yoke, we have the yoke bases where the yoke is attached to, a TVMP adapter, the track handle so we can easily just walk around with it, then uh, two Hyperion power supplies and of course a transportation case. The kit for the Leo Fresnel comes with one Leo Fresnel and everything else just mentioned for the Pluto, just one of each things, two yoke bases so we can attach the yoke to the light. But apart from that, don't worry, everything is included already when buying a kit. So guys, this was everything about the Pluto and the Leo Fresnel. I do hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching.